Welcome to Fall 2024 Anime That Is Right, my friends. We are here and the new season is upon us. Thank you all for joining me. I am Dom. I am from the Otaku Room. And today, for the next 30 to 45 minutes, we're going to be going over every single new anime that's coming out for fall 2024. We're going to be discussing the synopsis. We're going to be watching some trailers and deciding, is it worth watching for the fall in 2024? There is a lot of returning anime this season, and there is a lot of new anime. And we're going to be going through all of them here today. If it's your first time on a new season video, hey, welcome. Run me through in the comments. Honestly, I just need more comments so YouTube can share this out with more people. Hit me with a like or dislike. You might not like me and be like, yo, that guy sucks. Hit me with a dislike. Either way, it's engagement. I'll take the hate and I'll take the love both. Okay, so it's your first time or you're a returning viewer of the channel. Thank you so much. In this video, my friends, we're going to be looking at live chart today. I have live chart all set up with English titles and I have the anime set up by air date. We're going to go through each synopsis and if the synopsis is not enough, we're going to go through and look at the anime deeper and even look at some trailers in this video. And we're going to decide if this is worth watching or not. At the end of this, we'll have a big list of 100% yes, this is worth watching. We'll have some maybes and we'll have some no's. Now the maybes may turn into yeses and the maybes may turn into a video later on when I put the 10 brand new, not returning, just brand new anime that you and everybody else, including myself, need to watch this season. And this is gonna determine what we're going to watch all season long, reviewing each and every episode of each of these anime every single week here on DOS channel. So welcome once again to fall 2024. Buckle in kids, cause it's gonna be a fun ride here today. All right, so let's jump in immediately into life charge. So uh, once again, that is not, that's not the screen. That's not the screen. That's when we capture anime. Let's get the right screen going here. So we're gonna jump right into life chart. And in life chart, I have this set up here. Again, English titles and by air date, there is some anime that I am already watching here. And the first thing we're gonna do, my friends, is we're actually gonna put 2.5 dimensional seduction. We're gonna put this one in considering. Considering is gonna, gonna be what we call maybe. So how we do it here is watching Green means we're 100% watching it. We're going to cover it on the channel. No questions asked. Considering which is yellow is the maybe pile. This is going to be the ones that we maybe cover in the fall. And purple is planning. That one's like, ugh, I need convincing from you guys in the comments on why I should really watch this because I'm not sold on it. And then obviously skipping me just means like this was trash or this is this is dog dog doo doo. We're not going to be watching it this season. So immediately, I'm going to put 2.5 dimensional seduction in the maybe pile because it's been going downhill. And even though this is a continuation from summer, it just hasn't been that good. And I really think that we're, we're in the midst of dropping it. Uh, the next one we're going to keep watching is we're currently in the 60s in Pokemon uh, Horizons, as you guys see here. Magic Carp hat, uh, Pokemon Go shirt. You see Pokemon behind big, big, big Pokemon guy. If you guys love Pokemon content, uh, especially for the anime, this is a channel you guys need to be on. I cover it every single week here. And in the description, I have my gaming channel where we cover all the games there on the gaming channel. All right. Can he plug any more? Uh, yes, we can with a little Piplup. There it is. Piplup is my little buddy today. Okay. So we're going to jump in here. And actually, let me get, let's get some, let's get some zoomage going on here. I think that's a better, uh, that's a better zoom. Okay. So right now uh we have loner life in another world this is this how we're starting we're basically going to read the title we're going to read the synopsis if the synopsis is deep or has enough meat there to make a decision we'll just decide off the synopsis if there's not enough meat there then what we'll do is we'll open a page and we will look at one of the trailers or i have a youtube chat uh a youtube chat youtube uh tab here open where we can look at the trailers there as well too Okay, so first up is Life in Another World. So, Loner Life in Another World. So, this one here is based on a light novel. 
it is launching uh september 26th which is to a couple of days ago which i haven't seen this one uh on the seven seas or anywhere else yet so weird this one says here when a sarcastic loner haruka gets transported with his class to another world he's not wild about adventuring but he wouldn't mind having some cool powers unfortunately he's last in line when the magic cheat skills get divvied up so by the time it's haruka's turn there are no good choices left now haruka will have to take on this fantasy world the hard way on his own with a hodgepodge of bizarre skills when infighting and chaos break out among his classmates, can this loner come to the rescue? This sounds pretty much like every other isekai. This sounds just like the other one we got this past season. Uh, this past season, it was called... Um, damn, what was it called? That's a great question. That is a great question. I, I made a video about it. Uh, I made a video like, should you... Worth watching. What was it called? Failure Frame. Uh, it was failure frame and that was just a failure because it was trashola. Uh, but anyways, let's do it here. So loner life in another world. And let's look here. Let's look loner life in another world trailer. Maybe the trailer can sell us here. So there's the official trailer here. I'm going to give us about half volume here. So he finds a bunny. They have some decent. Okay. It looks like decently fun animation. Decent, very, very, very decent animation. Very decent animation. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, this one we'll put in a maybe. This one looks like a maybe. It looks like it has maybe some fun moments, maybe some comedy there. Uh, I don't know if it's enough though. Okay, next one here is Demon Lord Retry. This is a return. I love the first season of Demon Lord Retry. I don't know if I love it enough to cover it every single week on the channel. This might be one that I just independently watch on my own. If you guys haven't watched the first season, though, of Demon Lord Retry, I definitely suggest doing so. This is basically like a 40-something gets Isekai into another world. He continues his habits, smoking, being an old Yakuza-type dude, being really, you know, like, you know, just an old man and attracting everybody, creating his own little town creating his own like uh hospital and onsen and everything else this one's a good one i'm gonna put this one in a maybe uh depending on how everything else shakes out here i may or may not cover this on the channel i do love the first season uh, but it's one of those that i may just want to experience it myself and i may just want to binge it at the end of the season i may not want to watch it each and every week because i think it's very good i don't think it's like that good to watch it and wait every single week uh, next one we have here is Uzumaki Naruto. Uh, psychological drama. I typically don't like psychological anime because they, they just generally aren't good. This one is only four episodes. So we're going to put this one on a no because I can tell you already that's just a waste of our time. Uh, but if maybe this is based on a manga, so I'm sure manga fans will like that. Uh, as a reincarnated aristocrat, uh, all praise my. I was a little bit disappointed at season one. It was very slow. It was just fine. It was a very 6.57 out of 10. I'm going to put this one in a maybe as well. This is another one that I don't think is worth covering each and every week. I think this is one that you and myself just binge at the end of the season, unless you were really, really in love with ta 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 uh, This is one I think you just come back. I think it was good. I don't think it was that good. Again, another six, six and a half out of ten anime. One that uh, I'm glad is getting another season. It does need more to it, but it was also really slow and not... There wasn't a good return on your investment of time with this one. Uh, this one here is, is um, based on a light novel. This one's Let This Grieving Soul Retire. It's the golden age for treasure hunters, adventurers hungry for wealth, fame, power, and glory, who risk their lives in the treasure vaults throughout the world. This sounds lame already. I just gotta be honest. Let's become treasure hunters. Cry and his childhood friends swore to become the greatest of them all. But that dream should have died with the day Cray realized he wasn't cut out for the job. Yet expectations continue to mount right along with Cray's fear for his life. With his childhood friends climb closer to their dream, this grieving soul has one simple wish, pack it all in and retire. This one, again, sounds super just... It sounds... It sounds like passable. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. This one looks like super just okay. Um, I'll put this one on a maybe as pile as well. 
All right. This one is how I attended an all guys mixer comedy. This was based on a manga. Uh, okay. College student Tokiwa gets invited to a mixer by his female classmate Suo. But when he arrives with his friends Asagi and Hagi, they're greeted by three dazzlingly handsome men. Turns out these three cute boys are actually women in drag. Drag or cosplay? Uh, still in costume from their day jobs as a butler cafe that a butler cafe butler cafe that caters to female clientele as the six get to know each other they soon find themselves getting closer in an unexpectedly heartwarming and hilarious ways Let's see this one also seems i'll put this one I'll put this one in the third pile, which is planning. Planning is the one where I need you guys to come and step in and say, should I, is this like really worth watching? Is it really that funny? I think this is more uh, for somebody who jumped into the manga and really loved the manga. And this is for people who are a fan of the source. All right, let me get some coffee here. Ah, espresso. Okay, this one's called The Most Notorious Talker runs the world's greatest clan it's based on a light novel noel is the grandson of a legendary seeker over death and dreams of surpassing his strength but it turns out that noel is nothing but a talker the weakest class of them all undeterred he uses his silver tongue to gather allies develop cunning strategies and form the greatest clan around now as the most notorious talker noel will do whatever it takes to claim supremacy supremacy uh, let's see. This one sounds like it could be funny, perhaps. Let's see here. Um, let's go with that trailer. Let's see. So it looks like his powers give powers to his allies in a sense. Got some ripped ripped ab fan service. Ooh. Why are you watching the show? <laughs> why, why are you watching the show, Dom? <laughs> there she is. Um again, this looks fine. It looks fine. Uh, I'll put this one in a uh, maybe. All right, this one is all become the villainous that will go down in history. I love, I love, I love, love, love me villainous animes. I love me villainous mangas. I love me villainous light novels. I love villainous web novels. I eat them up. Okay, this one's based on the LN. Uh, me, the same girl who hates all those prim and proper heroines, got reincarnated as the villain in the world of my favorite fantasy dating sim. It's my dream come true, so I'm going to leave my mark on history by becoming the world's greatest villain. But to do that, I'll need to get a lot stronger and smarter. Just one problem. The harder I try to be evil, the harder the prince falls for me. At this rate, will I ever get to earn my place in history? Uh, I'm sold already. So let's just kind of quickly watch. There's only like 15 seconds here. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. This one's my first one. This is the first watching it for sure. I'm a big sucker for villainous animes. And immediately, the more I try to be evil, the more the prince loves me. Hell freaking yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay, next one up is tying the knot with an Amagami sister. That's a stupid, stupid name. Uh, I am, I think I'm over the sister and like most of these romance, quote unquote romance animes never actually have romance and I'm getting real tired of it. Three seasons in a row, I have watched a quote unquote romance anime and they have all just been the biggest wet farts in the world where there's like, like maybe a kiss at the most like and like i'll tell you what, like the most pecky peck 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 kiss happens and that's like the good ones the other ones just don't have anything uh udio 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 is this bleach uh udio kamahita is a high school student striving to enter kyoto's 
University Medical School. After being raised at an orphanage, Uryu is taken by the chief priest at the Amagami Shrine, where he begins to live as a freeloader and to cohabit his cohabit with Ye, Yuna, and Asahi, three beautiful shrine maiden sisters. What's more, the condition he must meet in order to live at the shrine is to marry into the family and inherit the shrine. How will Uryu overcome his marriage meetings with these three sisters, as well as the challenges that the Amagami Shrine faces? So begins his miraculous rom-com. Uh, okay. This sounds, again, like... It sounds fine. This sounds like a big one that'll be flirtatious and it may have some funny scenes, but he'll end up with none of them. And I'm going to put this one on skipping. Uh, okay, ReZero. This is an instant slam dunk. I don't think that I need to sell you guys on this. It's going to have a 90 fucking minute premiere. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're, we're going to be back with our boy Subaru. Subaru. Um, yeah, this is a must. This is, this is, we're watching this one for sure. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this one in maybe just because the way that I end up making my top 10 video is I only do brand new anime. I don't do returning anime, but just know that we will definitely be watching this on the channel. It looks like this is going to premiere. Um, let me see here. It says it premieres on October 2nd and October 2nd is Wednesday. So I will be here for episode number one on Wednesday. We'll watch that 90 minute review. Uh, okay. Next one is called Acro Trip. Uh, this is based on a manga. Chizoko is a normal otaku girl in Nagata Prefecture. She's obsessed with Cherry Blossom, Berry Blossom, a magical heroine who protects the city. <sighs> the battles with her inept nemesis, Chroma, have become so lackluster. Blah, 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 keeping dumb. Is it wrong to pick up girls in, in a dungeon? Yes, please, Don Machi. Uh, again, we're going to put this one in considering we are going to watch Don Machi on the channel. We watched the last season with Belle Cranel, and I freaking I, I love Don Machi so much. And last season was freaking awesome. So I cannot wait to see this next arc. This one is the Goddess of Fertility arc. And it's about to go down. I cannot not wait for our, our boy Belle Cranel to come out and just bust it out, baby. Uh, we're gonna put that one on a maybe though again once again this is just reiteration of the fact that uh i only want to put brand new anime on our watching list because i'm gonna make that top 10 you know the 10 ones that you need to watch for the season but just know we are 100 percent going to watch don machi and we're gonna watch re-zero here on the channel so if you'd love both of those make sure that you guys are in place to be here every week uh, okay, next one is called 365 Days to the Wedding. This is based on a manga. Uh, Takuya and Rika work at the same travel agency in Tokyo, and both are happily introverted and single, but their company is opening a new branch in Alaska next year, and employees without a spouse, <laughs> employees without a spouse will be recruited to work there. Desperate to avoid the move, and they've hardly spoken before, they decided to fake an engagement. Can these quiet co-workers become a convincing couple? That actually sounds pretty funny. Let's see. So it sounds like they fake it to make it, you know, just to avoid the move, but then they actually become like potential lovers. I'll put this one on the maybe as well, too. My real feelings with this one is I know I will like it. Um, but the thing is, I don't know if the viewers on my channel will like it. I guess you guys can tell me in the comments below if you guys would be interested in an anime like this. I do generally like the ones that do feature kind of like older people and like adult people. Um, they're generally closer to my age, so I kind of, um, not empathize, but I, can, I, I, I get it a little bit more than a lot of the other audience members who are younger. Um, I just don't know if a, if a show like this would generally do well on my channel. This might be something I just, like, watch with my wife or something like that, you know? Okay, next one is called Blue Box. This one is a basketball badminton. Uh, okay. 
Do these sport cross lovers have a chance? Taki Inomata loves Batman, but he has a long way to go before he can reach nationals. When Taiki sees upperclassman Chinatsu Kono practicing her heart out on the girls' basketball team, he falls for her. Hard. After an unexpected turn of event brings the two closer together, sports might not be the first thing on their minds anymore. Okay, this one sounds like it could have potential here. Blue box, huh? The bluest sports story, love story you've ever seen. Cute animation. Oh my god, really beautiful animation. But is she feeling him? Batman, huh? I'm a three time badminton champion. Okay, and that's gonna be the that's gonna be the third wheel there. This looks really cute. This looks really adorable. I think this is a I think I think yeah, I think this one's a I think this one's a slam dunk. Um I generally do like these kinds of shows. This kind of reminds me, I, don't, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but there was another show where uh, there was a boy who was really into this other girl and she was really athletic and everything else and he kind of wasn't. This one kind of seems like maybe, this kind of gives me like Ao Ashi vibes. Like if you guys are familiar with that soccer anime, really, really great soccer anime. Uh, but it seems like they're both into these really sports, but they're, they're you know, they see something within each other. And then it has like background friends too, like this girl who is into looks like gymnastics or something. So that's that seems cool. Yeah, I think this one's a slam dunk. It looks adorable. The animation is beautiful. Yeah, I think this is one that I would really like. I think a lot of you guys really like on the channel as well too. And this seems like one of those that not a lot of people would be covering. So I ge I do genuinely love finding like little um like gems that not a lot of other channels would be covering because it's just kind of not their speed, but it totally is mine. So okay, next one is called Don to Don. Uh, I have heard about this one incessantly, and a lot of people have said, like, this is the next one that you need to watch. Now, I'm always very, very worried when it comes to these kinds of shows because it's happened with Chainsaw Man. Uh, it happened with, what was the other show? Marshall. Um, it happened with, there was another one where some guy just couldn't die. And Marshall was really good. Not like, oh my God, but it was, it was really good. But Chainsaw Man and the other one, I can't remember what they was, but they were just, they were okay. Like, they were totally fine and watchable, but they weren't like this bombastic Attack on Titan type show. So when people overhype shows, I'm, I'm, I don't fall for it anymore. I'm very cautious because typically I, I don't align with what people like genuinely get really hype about. Um, and I, it's not because I'm trying to be different. It's just like, I've tried and tried and tried and it just has happened over and over. All right. This one's called Don to Don. This is a story about Momo, a high school girl who comes from a family of spirit mediums. Oof, already I'm kind of out. The the spirit mediums and the uh, and the occult stuff, I'm not a big fan of. Okay. Her classmate, Okarun, just called Motaku, uh, an occult fanatic. After being after Momo rescues Okarun from being bullied, they begin talking. However, an argument ensues between them. Since Momo believes in ghosts, but denies aliens exist. Akurun believes in aliens, but denies ghosts exist. This, honestly, this sounds, this doesn't sound good, guys. God, I know some people are just going to not be happy with me about that. I know that some people are going to be like, yes, yeah, it's the greatest thing ever. You have to watch it. Oh, I can't believe you do not like that. It just doesn't sound good. All right, let's see. I like the animation. The animation seemed really good. When music, when sorry guys, when, when music plays, I have to be very careful because they they can they can copyright the shit out of me. Um, 
I'll put this one as a maybe. Um, if you guys can just convince me more in the comments, like, if this is one that we should watch. Again, we have a lot of maybes so far. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. We have a couple more pages here left to go. Oh, a lot of pages left to go. Shit. Well, let's start speeding through some of these. Um... Meki Ude Mechanical Arms. I do not like mecha anime. Hikaru's or ordinary middle school life takes a thrilling uh, when he encounters an alien entity. Nope. Uh, Roroni Kenshin. Uh, I love Roroni. I love the original Roroni Kenshin. I do not want to watch a new one. Um, Hamadashi Creative. In the end of June and the summer seems to be locked in place. Izumi recognized by himself. And those around him as an interest spending another quiet day in his little corner of the classroom. Or so he thought. Congratulations, you've been selected as our next student council president. The student council president lottery held on the spur of the moment of the academy. Tomohiro manages to be one of the randomly selected thanks to his ridiculous luck. Now the spotlight suddenly upon him and as a result, rumors about him begin to circulate. With no way out, Tomohiro relies on his advisor to start gathering allies he can rely on. But none of the candidates' advisors suggest from his classmate Kano to his underclassman Asume, and even his little sister Hiyori are even coming to the campus. Amidst all of this chaos and even the former president, no one can get a hold of Shio shows up. Is it fate or is it foregone conclusion? The unheard, unprecedented battles of the random lottery, student council, some piece of piece of This is a TV short. So how long are these episodes? 12 episodes unknown. Ooh, I do not like that animation. That really shiny animation, I do not like. This is gonna be... Okay. Okay. So, after you do this for so long, immediately you can just start telling stuff. This is gonna be another one of those anime where not doesn't have a lot of substance, but has a lot of fan service. But the fan service doesn't equal to any of the romance, which means that nothing's really gonna happen with the character. He's just gonna get in a bunch of different situations where maybe he touches a tit or something, but nothing's really gonna happen. Uh, and it just ends up being a waste of time. And you either find it funny or you don't. And I'm typically on the don't. Okay, Studio Madhouse. I love Studio Madhouse. Trillion game. Okay, let's take some... Two cores back-to-back, too. Okay. Old schoolmates Haru and Gaku will do anything to achieve success. And what that means to them is earning a trillion dollars. Holy shit. But to do so, they'll need to take full advantage of their own unique skills. Haru is a persuasive and confident speaker who can connect with anyone. While Gaku, awkward, is an expert programmer. Will their combined skills be enough to make their dream reality? I can tell you that this synopsis is not good enough to really make me want to potentially watch this show. So this is, this is Rinrin. Rin. Um, I don't know which one that one is. Uh, it looks like Madhouse is nailing the animation. I'm gonna put this one on planning. If you guys are familiar with the manga, it looks like it's based on a manga, let me know in the comments, but, um, it seems okay. Uh, goodbye, Dragon Life. Long ago, the most ancient of divine dragons was slain by a human. The mighty dragon accepted its death when suddenly it was reborn as Dolan, a man who lives in a quiet village. While spending another peaceful day toiling in the fields, he meets Selena, a half-human, half-snake creature looking for a partner. The unlikely duo become friends, but challenges lie ahead that threaten their new bond. Okay. Okay. I'm tired of no uh, subs. So we're going to go back to YouTube here. And that was the Don Da Don trailer, which looked fine. Let's see this one here. After dying as a dry as reborn as a human. I do kind of like just that premise, you know what I mean? So this is the half snake girl, I assume.
So this is not really going to feature the hero that killed him. It's really just going to be featuring the dragon being reborn. Um, we'll put this one on as a maybe. Um, this one is Magical Girls. I do not really like Magical Girl anime unless it's like uh, Pretty Cure. But even that one I, I fell off on. Um, or, 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 or. Obviously, Sailor the Moon. I'm a big Sailor the Moon stan. Uh, you guys can't see it, but up there, I have a bunch of Sailor the Moon uh, Funkos and stuff. I love Sailor the Moon. Uh, and you guys should watch the new movie. Okay, I didn't cover it on the channel because um, I just watched it with my kids. So, anyway, we're just skipping that. Uh, Sword Art Online, Gun Gale Online 2. I love the first season of Gun Gale. I thought it was amazing and awesome. Um, I don't know if I need to really dive into this one. This one is just a amazing, unique story about uh, this specific character here. Uh, and I love that they're covering season two. I think this one, we're going to put this one as, as considering. I think this is one I cover on the channel. I love Sword Art Online. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. And I love Gun Gale. I, I think that um, Gun Gale first season was awesome. I don't think it gets enough credit. So I do think we'll be watching this on the channel, but you know. Uh, I'll put that one as a maybe for now, just because I want to just feature new anime. All right, this one is stories of girl who can't, stories of girls who couldn't be magicians. JC staff, I love JC staff. Um, this one is based on a, on a novel. Okay, at La Trend Magic Academy, two unlikely friends share one dream: to become magicians. Kurumi is an average girl who's a bit naive, while Yuzu is the distinguished daughter of a mo a mobile a noble magician family they need to get into a special magician training class but they failed the entrance exam all hope seems lost until the mysterious homeroom teacher suzuki arrives and their luck takes a sudden turn um i am a sucker for good for good uh like M magic academy anime um is this the trailer here i hate the animation I hate the animation. This animation sucks. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. JC staff, what the hell? Um, I'm so sorry. I thought that was gonna be there. I can deal with certain animation, but that one I will be complaining about it the whole season. Uh Tohai Uru Uru Rate Majong Tohai Roko. Money, women, organs, K. A high school boy. That things, those things do not go well with high school boy. It just doesn't happen. That's just too fictional. Uh, he frequents the underground mahjong parlor. Uh huh. Teaming with desires, earning him the monster moniker K of Ice in the underworld due to his cold-hearted strategy and stylish gameplay. Rumors also circulate that he he keeps a girl at home. That's cool for him. Um. Yep. Whatever this little puppy anime is. Skip. 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 Um, and actually, I can, I can go down here. Blue Lock, uh, the first season, was a big disappointment. I, I ended up dropping it. Uh, part three of Bleach. I have been watching the Blood War. Thousand Year Blood War. I've been watching that on my own. Uh, I think I might have covered some of Bleach on the channel in, uh, a few seasons ago. Like, like the beginning of the Bleach return. It didn't do well on the channel. So I actually, I'm going to put this one in the purple because I'm going to watch it on, on my on my own. Uh, I won't I won't be covering it on the channel though. The, the last season of Thousand Year Blood War though, uh, the the first season of Thousand Year Blood War was just ten out of ten. It was nuts. The last season I think you know featuring Uryu and featuring um, the the clan that evades my mind at the specific moment when I need to remember it. Uh, it's fine. I think it's eight out of ten. I don't think it's the best Bleach content I've ever seen in my life, but some episodes are really good. Okay, Madhouse again. In 15th century Europe, heretics are being burned at the stake. Raphael, a brilliant young man, is expected to enter university at an early age and study the era's most important field, theology. But Raphael values reason above all else. Which leads him to shocking conclusion that the Earth orbits the Sun and into the hands of the Inquisition. A decade later, two members of the Watch Guild, the Door Young, Ozzy, and Cynical Grass, find a hidden stone chest that details the secrets of the universe. Raphael, behind, dared they change their own stars by selling the heretical text. 
some of these people who put these synopsises together, I feel like they just, um, dyslexia or something? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe, I, maybe I'm dyslexic. Maybe I just can't read right. So he's a theologist in the past, basically finding out about the earth and the orbits and stuff. Um, I'll put this one on, perp on, on purple. Basically, if you guys are familiar with the manga, uh, I like Madhouse a lot. Uh, sell me on this one if you guys are familiar with the source material. I do like historical anime. I do. Um, but they don't always hit. So sell me on it if this is something you guys would like. Uh, Blue Exorcist. I'm going to put this one on purple as well. Uh, Blue Exorcist is one that... Um, you know, actually, I'm going to put this one on Skippy. Because my wife watches this one, but it's not something that I generally... I, 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 I caught up last time with her on this one, but the last season was just fine. Uh, Ranma one and a half... <sighs> The problem I have with, with Ranma 1 and a half is I didn't really like the original. It was fine. I think I'm gonna skip that one as well, too. No hate. If you guys really love Ranma 1 and a half, I understand uh why people like it. I just I ended up watching, I don't know. 10, 15 episodes in many, many moons ago because it's a really freaking old-ass anime. And even younger me, like, I mean, like, 20 years ago type deal, uh, it was fine. So, okay. This was called You Are Miss Servant. One day, high schooler Hitoyoshi gets an unexpected visit from a maid at his home with her black hair, graceful manners, and a peculiar request to be hired. She turns out to be a former assassin with a knack for clumsiness. I hate that. Their encounter leads to shared life under one roof, with her emotionless heart begins to stir. This is a story of a lonely maid finding a family. And I hope she does. Uh, the healer who was banished from his party is in fact the strongest. Ah, oh, man. Some of these titles, they just know, they just know, like, hey, Dom, you, you likey? You likey this? Okay, a healer gets booted from his party because the leader notices he isn't really contributing much to the team. Soon enough, uh, the healer must look for new members to party with. After finding a cute martial artist to work with, he reveals his secret. While he's a fairly mediocre healer, he actually fights well in close combat. This is a story of a support who secretly hit DPS, and where the entire conflict stems from the fact that he never told his old party he was a DPS person. I don't think that he's going to use the language DPS, but, um, again, the synopsis people, they just really be taking their liberties here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this was a good one. So there was a manga that I read, okay? And the manga that I read sounds like this one. It was about a healer who was actually really OP, and he saved a young girl, and the young girl trained her whole life to be able to come and party with him once again. I wonder if it's that one. Okay, so there's his new party. Um, yeah. This looks mid, and I am all for it. I am all for it. This one looks like one of those ones that it's either going to be like, I can't believe this was so good, or like, this was just so doo-doo. Uh, I don't know if there's any in between. I'm watching it, though. I think this is one that's just prepared to disappoint me, but I'm going to talk shit about it. So, I like it. Okay, this one's called Suma Show. Kaisuke Nijima has lived in grief since his wife, Takei, passed away 10 years ago. But when a young girl visits claiming to be Taiki reincarnated, Kaisuke and his daughter, Mai, are drawn into a miraculous reunion. As the girl reveals intimate details only they could know, the Nijima family slowly begins to heal, rediscovering love and warmth in this almost unexpected way. The problem I have with this is that's super cringe. Um, so this little girl's gonna show up and be his past wife? I just don't know how I feel about that. And then where's her parents? Where's her current family? Ooh. 
like does he have to kiss this little 10 year old girl this makes me feel not comfortable my kid's 10 so uh, i'm gonna go with skip guys i'm sorry like maybe this is the most beautiful story ever but just the premise alone i don't i don't think i can uh, i don't think i can partake uh, again change my mind in the comments i i'm always down to give an episode one a shot um yeah okay anyways hi -ga, hi -ga kura hi -ga kura hi -ga, hi -ga kura this story takes place in senkai the sacred other world where immortals and humans live on the verge of collapse Shush. ichuyo 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 a poet warrior what the hell a poet poet <laughs> my power is haikus um uses a technique called kasai to capture the gods scattered all over the world and his follower tenku search for the four evil gods who hold the kiao to collapse of the senkai that sounds like shit shit tai. um ron komononashi forbidden deduction season two okay yakuza fiance um what yakuza fiance rasa wa taningali uh, Somai Renji is Somai Yoshino's grandfather and leader of the Somai group, the Kansai region's biggest Yakuza group. It's sad that now the Yakuza are basically just like corporate heads. Uh, anyways, Yoshino has to move to the Miyama clan estate, uh, the Kanto region's biggest Yakuza group. Kishima warmly welcomes Yoshino in such a pleasant, personable, and nice young man, a nice young man, that we suspect that he could come from the Yakuza family. Uh, he puts Yo Yo Yukishino at ease. This sounds doo doo. Uh, a certain event leads to Yoshino witnessing the real Kirishima. Uh, Natsume Book of Friends season seven. Holy crap! Uh, Natsume Book of Friends is fantastic. Uh, I have not watched past season four. Uh, I need to catch up. I'm gonna put this on skipping. Uh, but Natsume Book of Friends is a really, really, really good show. Spirit Chronicles, Spirit Chronicles. I love, I love, 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 love. I love Spirit Chronicles. I cannot wait for the return of Spirit Chronicles. I am so excited. Spirit Chronicles, It the first season ended with a bunch of different like beams of light coming down. And there was a lot of other reincarnated folks that would have reincarnated with him or would have isekai with him but instead of them being reincarnated they were isekai and i just cannot wait for spirit chronicles this is a freaking yes please oh uh i'm gonna put this on a maybe though because again it's a returning one after school hanukkah kun uh hanukkah kun is that the one with the with the toilet dude um okay a terrified teacher at ghoul school Rookie teacher Haruki Abe is a cowardly as they come. It's hard enough for him to handle human students without whimpering, and now he's going to be teaching at a school full of monsters. It's a classroom of horrors, and uh, we're skipping it. Oh, the do-over damsel conquers the dragon emperor. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I love this shit. Jill breaks out of prison the night before she's set to be executed by her fiancé, Crown Prince Gerald. She's struck by an arrow while she's escaping but instead of dying she's transported six years into the past to the night she and gerald met yeah go get him girl desperate to alter the fate she instead proposes to the first man she sees hadis dios rave her enemy in the future this is her last chance to get it right i love these shows i especially love when enemy becomes uh enemy becomes lover i i think those shows are just so good uh and they honestly they never disappoint so this was probably easy slam dunk but we're gonna watch it anyways Oh yeah, look at that animation too. Yeah, he accepts too, huh? The cursed emperor. <laughs> so he actually ends up being completely different. So she falls hard, huh? Yeah. Easy slam dunk. 
the do over damsel this is a must yes please um okay as you guys can tell i have specific taste your taste may or may not align with mine that's completely okay uh nina the starry bride uh, Nina, a girl living as an orphan in the Fortna castle town, happens to have eyes of the same deep blue hue as Lapis Lazuli, just like the god of the stars. Uh, they're also the same color as the eyes of the recently deceased Princess Alicia. For that reason, when the second prince of Fortna, Azure, discovers Nina, he ordains that she will live as a princess in the Alicia Palace. As a substitute for the princess and priestess of the stars, Nina is obligated to become the false bride of Set, the first prince of the large neighboring nation of Golgotha. After the three months have passed, despite being at the mercy of fate, Nina's just happy to feel needed by someone. What is that her open, honest eyes see? The destinies of all players in this stage begin to move when they make up their minds to protect the ones they love. Oh, man. This one sounds like it could be good. This one's hard, though, to pin. You know what I mean? Um, immediately, this one kind of gives me like Apothecary Diaries vibes, but it doesn't seem like it'll be funny, and that's kind of the... Um, I don't know. I'm gonna put this one on maybe. I don't think I'm completely sold. Um, maybe though. Uh, Dragon Ball Daima, I am not covering on the channel. Um, uh, reason being is... On, um, on YouTube, like, covering Dragon Ball content, you're just asking to get, like, a, a copyright strike. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, even though, like, and I just don't like Kid Goku. Like, Dragon Ball GT had its good moments and stuff, but, like, all the, like, I don't know what the obsession was with constantly de-aging Goku as a kid. I've just never been a big fan of it, so I know that might be blasphemy to some. I love DBZ. I love the original Dragon Ball when Dra when Goku was legitimately a kid. Dragon Ball, and sometimes I, I think I might like Dragon Ball more than Dragon Ball Z because uh, that's kind of what I grew up on first before DBZ. I love Dragon Ball. Um, but DBZ, you know... Um, or Dragon Ball GT and just the obsession with making kid making Goku back to kid Goku um or making him die those are the two things that I've never vibed with quite a bit so I don't know uh, okay Demon Lord 2099 and we're over time but you know it looks like we're headed for an hour here uh 5 centuries ago Demon Lord Veltol reigned over an immortal nation now the time has come for him to awaken again. The year is 2099 and civilization has reached, civilization has reached peak evolution, leading to a high-tech landscape with towering skyscrapers. Nothing like he conquered before. Valto may be a relic of the past, but make no mistake, this new world will be his for the taking. よう<笑> え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。
uh, MMO type anime that has ever existed. Shangri La Frontier Season 1 was awesome. Uh, Ari Ferretta, if you guys have been on the channel for a long time, I am a stan of Ari Ferretta. I, I love Ari Ferretta. It is um, one of my favorite anime of all time. It's top five anime of all time for me. I love Ari Ferretta, so this is a must watch. I'm going to be watching every single week with you guys. I'm going to put this one on a... Um, I'll put this one on a maybe as well, too. And we'll, get, we'll go back when we do the list at the end. Uh, but I'm definitely going to cover it on the channel. So if you guys are love Ari Ferretta, if you like the Ari Ferretta movie, um, then yeah. You know, if you like the OV... Maybe it wasn't the movies. Maybe it was the OVAs. If you like the OVAs, like, I, I love Ari Ferretta. So um, this one's going to be a no here. So that's easy. Uh, last one, Blue Maburo. Neo is an orphan who can't help dreaming of a better world. In this action-packed manga, he meets two men who show him... How much of a few swords can change history? The riveting samurai series from the acclaimed creator of Days, never heard of that, shares its settling setting with Roroni Kenshin and chronicles the founding of the Shinsenagumi by handsome and volatile, I think I just had a stroke, volatile men fighting for justice. This doesn't seem bad. That's the problem I have. Yeah, man. I'll put this one as purple. Okay. So we're done. So that's it. So we, man, we didn't have much green though. Let's, okay, let's get these filters out. Uh, planning completed. We're going to uh, save these filters here. Uh, okay, so here's what we have. Well, let me do this. Here's what we have in green. So in green, <laughs> we don't have very many. We have six. Uh, so that means that we need four more. Well, actually, let me switch. Let me switch Pokemon to yellow, um, and then let's do that again. Um, so basically, we have five for sure. So I was sold after all of this. I was sold on five brand new anime. Okay, so that means we need five more to make up our ten. So let's now let's look at the yellow pile, and then I'll show you guys what I'm actually going to be watching for the season. So, in our yellow pile... Ah, oh man. Um, let's look at the new ones here. So, in our yellow pile for new ones, I think Nina makes the cut. Okay. Uh, I think the dragon makes the cut. Ah, I'm not sold on Don to Don, but I know that people will love if I put that in the video. So, I think we go with Don to Don. I'm not sold on it, you know. Um, it's not giving me JJK vibes, but it is what it is. Um, the Notorious Talker, I'm 50-50 on. The Grieving Soul one, I'm not. Loner Life, I don't know about that one. I don't know if that one makes the cut. Um, do I take a risk on 365 days to a wedding? I think the Talker then has to make the cut here. So I think Talker makes the cut. Okay. And then that'll put us, where, where will that put us? So let's see where we're going to be after the, and this, this, you guys are helping me right now. You guys are helping me create the top 10 video. So here's three, six, nine. I need one more. Okay. So we need one more and this will make up the 10, the 10 that we're going to watch this season. So the next one, is it Loner Life? I don't think Grieving Soul makes it. I think that one looks too doo-doo. 365 days seems to be the one that I'm leaning towards. Or Loner Life. Let's look at Loner Life again. Um, let me look at Loner Life again. Let's see. And maybe the, maybe Loner Life is the one that does make the cut, okay? So there was the first trailer. This is the second one 10 days ago. So, yeah, I guess Loner Life. I guess it is Loner Life. Loner Life will make the cut. 
Okay, so now let's look. Here's the 10 anime, the 10 brand new anime, not returning, that we're going to watch for this season. So, Loner Life, The Most Notorious Talker, I'll Become a Villainess, Don to Don, Blue Box, Goodbye Dragon Life, Nina the Starry Bride, which I think this one is going to be like one of those, like, you know, dark horses. The Do Over Damsel, The Healer Who Is Banished, and Demon Lord 299. I think this one will be a, a dark horse as well, too. So those are the 10 anime, my friends. Those are the 10 anime that we, we're going to watch this season. Now, let's go back and let's also mark what we're actually going to watch on the channel here. So what we'll do is um, definitely we're going to continue watching this one. I think Demon Lord Reacher I'm going to watch on my own. Um, ReZero is definitely going to be covered on the channel. Sword Art is going to be covered on the channel. Damachi is going to be covered on the channel. Spirit Chronicles and Ari Ferretta. And I'm going to have to go back and assess this after the first, you know, like two, three episodes are done. But now we basically have on the channel covering three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16 different anime are going to be covered on the channel. Now, as the season goes on, this will be dwindled down. Uh, Loner Life episode one may suck. This one may suck. You know, we'll watch two or three episodes. At least, you know, I'll try and fit in as much as I can of some of these. Some of the videos might be late, but we'll try and watch it. And then we'll kind of go back and determine after the first one to three episodes has uh, has kind of surpassed what we'll stay watching on the channel. Um, and it also depends on what you guys think, right? If you guys are, you know, uh, really into a certain show and it's showing by the views and the comments, we'll keep watching it. And the shows that don't get any views or comments, those are going to naturally fall off. But regardless, thank you guys for joining me today. This was our top 10. What are we going to watch? Or no, this was our making of the top 10. What are we going to watch for the season? This was what should we watch for the fall season? This is getting the good, the bad, and the ugly and getting the ugly and the bad out. And this is sticking with the good and potentially good anime that we're going to watch for fall season. I appreciate you guys being with me on this journey. There's a lot of new anime this season, a lot of returning anime uh, like Spirit Chronicles and Damachi and ReZero and Dragon Ball Daima, Don Da Don, which I know people are excited about, Sword Art Online, um, The Aristocrat, tons and tons and tons of brand new and returning anime this season. So very exciting stuff. I can't wait to see you guys in the fall season. Thank you guys for being with me today for this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys watch my top 10 what to watch. Even though you know what's going to be there, give us some love anyways. Just drop me a, a like. Drop me a comment at what should have been in the list. Drop me a comment on what's the best one on the list. Just show me some love over there. I definitely appreciate it. If you made this part of the video, uh, Daisuke. All right, my friends. Have a great day, great weekend, great night, great morning. Have a good day at school. Have a good day at work. Love y'all. Peace.